welcome! Today we're going to be learning how to sing All of Me by John Legend. Now lucky for us, we've got the incredible Kevin Castro here to support us on the piano. But don't worry, if you don't have your own Kevin at home, we've got you covered because we have a karaoke backing track of this song in multiple keys inside the Singing Home Members area. And if you're not a member, not to worry because we've got a free 7 day trial for you to access right below this video so you can enjoy this song and everything else that Singing has to offer. All right, let's dive in. Cause all of me loves so the first thing that I want to do before we even get to singing the words is I want us to sing through the first little bit of the song using an exercise. So you can sing along with me using the bubble. You can sing through it like just humming along. You can feel your cheeks feel there. But this is going to help us to connect to the phrasing of the song. We need to know where to breathe. We need to know how much breath is going to be required for each line. And this is the best way to set that up. Now once we've done that, we're going to move into how to actually sing the words because that's different than how we say them. And then we'll add other layers like style and emotion to the piece to make it absolutely beautiful and uniquely your own. Okay, so I'm gonna bubble. Um, ready? Ready. Okay, you join me. Here we go. You have to play a chord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling connected to the phrases of the song. I was noticing where I could breathe and how much air I could get before I had to continue singing. And this is honestly something that I recommend doing with every song you ever learn. It's gonna set you up for success. So now that I'm feeling a little bit comfortable with the melody and the phrasing of that first bit of the song, it's time to put the words on it. Now, if I were to say to you, what would I do without your smart mouth? That's kind of how I would say it. I'm enunciating, I'm being clear. But if I were to sing it that way, what would I do without your smart mouth? It would sound absolutely not musical at all. So when we sing songs, we need to look for the path of least resistance. We have to find a way to flow through the words seamlessly. So instead of singing, what would I do? I'm going to sing, what would I do? <laughs> so instead of singing, I, I'm ignoring the E and I'm singing into the ah. Instead of singing what would, I'm letting those consonants sort of drop away and it becomes what would I do without your, not your, your smart mouth, which sounds absolutely ridiculous when I say it, but here's how it'll sound when I sing it. What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. And we'll pause there for a second. So notice the difference. It's a completely different experience. And I think, especially if you're new to singing, this concept just like, poof, it's mind blowing. Um, and it will completely change how you sound. It'll completely change the tone and the texture of your voice. So let's keep going and pay attention to how I am pronouncing the words. I'm not gonna sing, you've got my head spinning. You've got my head spinning. And watch my tongue on the word he. That's not even the word. <laughs> See, that's how I'm thinking about it as a singer. I don't even get the rest of the word. I'm just focusing on the vowels. So we'll put it together and you'll hear how it sounds. Here we go. What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. You've got my head spinning. No kidding. I can't pin you down. So again, on the I, I didn't sing I, I sing ah. Um, on the word head, did you notice I made like a little face there? I had my mouth very relaxed, head spinning. And then on the word no, say this with me, say no. What shape? Ooh, it ends on an ooh. But when I'm singing it, I don't want to sing no. <laughs> I'm going to sing no. It's almost like no, no kidding. And then I get this beautiful smooth line of the song. All right, so moving on to the next part of the verse, what's going on in that beautiful mind, not mind, I'm on your magical mystery ride. Be careful you don't go I at the end of that word. And I'm, um, not I'm, and I'm so dizzy. Don't know, not don't know. <laughs> that was very Canadian. Don't know what hit me, but ah, uh, not but I'll, but I'll be all right. So I'm really focusing on the vowels of the words and preventing them from going here. Uh, so let's sing it. What's going on? Here we go. What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride. And I'm so dizzy. Don't know what hit me, but I'll be all right. My head's under water, but I'm You're crazy and I'm out of my mind. 
and I'll pause there. <laughs> Isn't it such a beautiful song? So instead of my heads, right, you're probably noticing the trend here. I'm keeping them very sort of long vowel shapes. And again, the word head, my tongue is down and forward. My head's under wa, wa. It's like I'm thinking the ooh, uh, water, but I'm breathing fine. And I'm really allowing a vocal fry and a vibrato to work for me, especially in the notes that feel low for me. You're crazy and I'm, uh, I'm putting that uh, uh, I'm out of my mind. Um, my head's underwater, but um, that's even lower. I'm breathing fine. Don't be afraid of those notes. With low notes, it's, can we isolate the melody there? I'm breathing fine. Yeah but an octave down. I'm breathing fine. So you could exercise that like ah, 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 and just like find the notes and then you can pretty them up. I'm breathing fine. And did you hear that? Fine, a little bit of vocal fry there. Distracts from if you had a little bit of muddy sound on some of the very lowest ones, a little trick. Okay, so we're gonna work through the chorus now because there's some cool things that are happening here. There's like a little flip into more of like a head voice or falsetto sound that we need to work on. And then we're gonna go back through and talk about some of the style techniques that John Legend uses. And then we're gonna talk about how to make it uniquely your own. So in the chorus, cause all of me loves all of you. There's this really important moment where you have to breathe after the loves, in my opinion, or at least pause a little bit because it gives it the like dynamics. So pay attention to that. Cause all of me loves all of you. Love your curves and all your edges, all your perfect imperfections. Give your all to me. Give my all to you. You're my end and my beginning. Even when I lose, I'm winning. Cause I give you all of me. So we'll pause there. Cause you hear that, oh, oh, like when you isolate it, it sounds like terrible, like a bad yodel. But this is the style that's happening in the song, and it's what makes this part of the chorus. Like, you're just listening to John Legend's beautiful voice, and all of a sudden this little style thing happens, you're like, whoa. And then now you're paying attention more closely. So all through that chorus, it was about just the little dramatic moments. It's about the little pauses, and it's about bringing warmth to the words, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I really want to help us nail down that, oh. So if that's, what's the note? Oh, for me. B flat. B flat. So that's right on a transition. That's where my voice naturally wants to fall apart, which is a good thing because it's gonna. I can use that for my advantage here. Um, so I'm gonna start really light and go oh, and I'll keep it light. Um, and if you're struggling to get that light, and you're like oh, where is it? Just go. So you can practice that descending line, put an H in front of it, and it will help it to release. Then you can go, ah, there's a the vocal fry, ah, ah. And I'm almost letting myself kind of, it feels like I'm like going whoop, ah, and then flipping. So it's a little bit heavier, and then I'm releasing it. Ah, like almost like you're lifting something, and you just kind of go, oops, dropped it. Ah, and you can stay in that head voice until you reach, reach the word of, because that's an easy one to grab it on, of me. It's really challenging as a vocalist to come down a light phrase, oh, and come back to like a more chest voice coordination. So that's where you can go, uh, uh, of me. So we put that together. Cause I give you all of me. Can you hear that? Cause you give me all of you. And I sang the words wrong, but that's okay. Okay, so now we've talked a little bit about how to form the words, how to feel the song, how to access that little head voice or falsetto moment at the end of the chorus. It's time to look at what John Legend is doing in this performance because specifically, he uses a lot of vibrato. So instead of doing, what would I do without your smart mouth? We've got more of a, what would I do without your smart mouth? 
mouth drive me in you kicking me out you got my head spinning no kidding i can't pin you down i was exaggerating a little bit there but if you listen back to his vocal you'll be like oh that's a lot of vibrato he's also using like a lot of like sort of darker, more open shape. So it's not here, what would I do without? I'll sing it more in like a folky voice, like it would be like this. What, what would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. John Legend would be like, what would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. You got my head spinning. No kidding. Again, I'm exaggerating a little bit and you might be laughing at me and that's fine. But you'll hear the differences when you go back and listen to John Legend sing it. So it's up to you how much of this you want to use. So when I was actively listening to this song in preparation to teach this lesson, that's what I was paying attention to. And active listening is such an important tool as a singer. It's not necessarily or not usually something you're doing when you're hearing a song on the radio. But when I'm like, hey, I need to learn this, I'm going to ask myself, how's the artist singing the words? What are the style techniques they're using? What's going on with the emotion that I'm hearing in their voice? And then I can be like, oh, I never thought about adding that to my own performance. And that's where you bring these little things in to make this uniquely yours. So I'm going to go through the verse. I'll maybe even go a little bit further. And I'm going to be working on adding in little bits of vibrato little bits of vocal fry, maybe um, some intensity, maybe I'm taking my words and shortening them or lengthening them based on how I feel. And I want you to actively listen for those things. And if you're wanting to actually develop more of this in your own voice, we've got an entire level on just style techniques inside the singing yo method. So make sure you take advantage of that. Okay, so let's try this. What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and kicking me out you got my head spinning no kidding i can't pin you down what's going on in that beautiful mind i'm on your magical mystery ride and i'm so dizzy don't know what hit me but i'll be all Cause all of me loves all of you Love your curves and all your edges All your perfect imperfections Give your all to me I give my all to you You're my end and my beginning Even when I I'm winning Cause I give you all of me And you give me all of you mm. <laughs> See? I, I, okay, I just like clapped and got so excited because I just had such a good time singing that. I was a little bit lost in the music. I was enjoying using all the different vocal techniques and it just felt really good. All right, so you now have some tools to help you approach learning this song. So let's just recap for a moment. Number one, sing through the song using a typical warm up exercise. I love the bubble. Number two, sort out how you're going to sing the words and how that might be different than how you would say the words. Look for the path of least resistance, focus on those vowels, and be careful we don't get here and in the nose. Next up, you want to look at style. What are you doing? You could do vocal fry, vibrato, you could let your voice flip, you could have more powerful moments, you could break up your words differently. All of those things will impact how you perform the song. And something really important, which I didn't mention earlier, is the emotion. So when you sing the song, who are you thinking about and what is the story? Because if you really truly hold that while you're singing, it's going to change your vocal performance. And a lot of those style things will probably happen naturally 
naturally. Um, and a perfect vocal performance is not nearly as important as a believable vocal performance. So make sure that you're allowing some, um, some room to play between those two extremes. I know like vocalists, we're perfectionists. We want it to be so good. But sometimes we need to work on it, let go of that, and then just enjoy the emotion of the song and how we're communicating it. All right, so now the rest is up to you. Now, if you want a little extra help in improving and developing the sound of your voice, we've got something absolutely perfect for you and 100% free. It's called How to Stop Hating Your Voice, which you could also reframe as how to start loving your voice. And it's just full of tips to help you improve your sound. So make sure you take advantage of that below this video. And of course, record yourself singing the song. I would love to hear you share those below and we'll see you around.